Okay, so apologies for the short delay, but I just wanted to check that um, we follow the right procedure. So we are very pleased to welcome today two special guests and friends uh, from India, Professor Sawayam Prabha uh, Satpathy, uh, who is a leading trainer experienced professor and researcher, uh, and she has been awarded twice at the size of, you know, over 1 billion people uh, in India. She has been awarded a particular significant title of 100 uh, Best Women Achievers for 2022 and 2023. So she works in the benefit of women, with women, uh, encouraging uh, participation in research and in training uh, and across uh, the academic field. Uh, we also have uh, our main speaker, Professor Rukmini Krishna, and uh, I will start very briefly uh, reading her profile because she has an extensive experience of various kinds and her experience will help us to get into the main title of today's debate and presentation, uh, which concerns uh, eternal values and their relevance in higher education. And we are very pleased and honored to welcome both of uh, them, as well as uh, all the students and uh, uh, Elena, Professor Elena Stoica. So please allow me to... Um, Introduce Professor uh, Rukmini, just a second, please. So, Professor Rukmini is a senior academic uh, in the Department of English, School of Social Sciences and Languages at the VIT, which stands for the uh, at the top um, um, higher ed um, education institutions in Valore Tamil Nadu. She holds a PhD in English and a master degree uh, as a gold medalist from the Kakatiya University of uh, Warangal. Her PhD was devoted to the particular personality of Sri Aurobindo and his concept of nationalism. Um, and she has also uh, devoted her study as a, at the master level on his concept of poetry, the poetry of yoga. She has more than two decades experience in teaching and research. She has been teaching in the areas of English language and literature, Indian writing in English, ELT, soft skills to undergraduates and postgraduates of various uh, profiles. She has taught in Indian institutions as well as abroad. Um, and she has been a visiting faculty professor to various universities, such as in Sarajevo, uh, the national university of uh, this country in Europe. Her uh, research areas include Indian writing in English, postcolonial literature, scientific and technical writing, spiritual ecology, and others. She has published numerous pub, uh, articles, chapters, um, and contributions in conference proceedings. And she has presented more than 40 research papers in both national and international conferences. She, at, presently, she is working on in, Indic knowledge tradition and its application in the present curriculum of various school taught courses in higher, at the higher education le level. She puts uh, effort in, to indigenize ELT methods, so particular area of English language teaching, to uh, imparting language skills and communication skills in arts, technology, and management studies. She has been conducting training for teachers and management professionals in academic research writing, and technical writing and applications um, across, uh, again, various types of pro uh, profiles. Her passions are reading, writing, and 
contemplation of self and journeying from self-transformation to unity consciousness. Her hobbies include listening to music and reading, philosophy, and spirituality. She is versatile in more than five languages and received particular certificates in basic sign language from the Mahidol University in Bangkok, Thailand. So we welcome you. We are very pleased. Um, and I think in the last couple of years, I worked with the colleague, Professor Staikan. I think you are the first person we have invited from Tamil Nadu. So this okay. is a very warm premiere for us. And we are truly happy to have you with us today. 